In example number 4, I am going to explain how to use a push button with Raspberry Pi Pico. The purpose of this example is to help you understand how to read a digital input on any GPIO pin of the Raspberry Pi Pico board. This is really an important example so make sure you don't skip any information. If you learned how to read or detect the button click then you can read all the types of the digital sensors for example PIR sensor, infrared obstacle sensor, microwave sensor and so on. In simple words any sensor that gives you one or zero is the output signal. In this example push button is like a sensor that detects the user input. So to make it more interesting, I'm going to control an LED. So each time the button is pressed, the LED will change its state. So let's go ahead and take a look at the circuit diagram. One side of the push button is connected with 3.3 volt pin of the Raspberry Pi Pico, while the other side of the push button is connected with GP14 pin of the Pico board. The LED connection with the Pico board remains exactly the same. Now let's take a look at the programming. The purpose of this program is to toggle the LED. As the LED is an output device, so that's why I set it as output. And as push button is an input device, so that's why I set it as input. Rest of the code is pretty straightforward. If a button click is detected, then simply toggle the LED means if the LED is off, then turn it on. Or if the LED is on, then turn it off. Now let's go ahead and run this code. You can see each time I press the button, LED changes its state. 